In the film Justice League Dark, one of the key members is Dead Man, who, as the name suggests, is dead. He is a ghost who was given the power to stay on the earthly plane and possess the living by a goddess, Ramakushna. She did this so he could bring his killer, and others, to justice. But who killed Dead Man in the first place? Well, in the film we are actually shown his murder, and if you pause the video at the right moment, you can see who fired the shot that killed him. Now, this man is never named in the movie, but thanks to comic books we can identify him as a man named Hook. In the comics, he killed Dead Man to prove that he was capable of doing so and getting away with it clean, leaving no evidence to trace back to him. If he was capable of doing this, then he would have proven himself worthy enough to be a member of the League of Assassins. Now, in the comic Batman Gotham Adventures, issue 6, Batman was able to solve the murder and so Hook did not get away with the crime and did not join the League of Assassins. But in the movie, Zatanna says, He was a trapeze artist who loved being famous, especially with the ladies. Husbands, not so much. You're killing me. He had a knack for irritating the wrong people. Now this implies that there was another reason for Dead Man's death, and that either someone paid Hook to kill him, or Hook killed him for some slight Dead Man had inflicted on him, such as sleeping with the wrong man's wife or mistress. However, this could just be a red herring to throw the audience off the scent, and it may well later be revealed that his murder was indeed a test of the killer's skill. Personally, I doubt that the new 52 movies will have him joining the League of Assassins, as both Ra's al Ghul and Talia al Ghul are gone in the films, and the League is in chaos and on the verge of disappearing altogether, but it could have been a test to joining another organisation. That being said, in the new 52 comics, his origin is changed, and Hook's name is now Jimmy, and he is an overweight, one-handed man who's retired from working for the mob and he kills Boston Brown for no real reason, except to show to a mob boss that he can still hit a moving target in a public place, and that he basically still has what it takes to be a hitman. But in any case, we know that the man who pulled the trigger and killed him was named either Hook or Jimmy, and all we have to wait on now is the motives behind him doing this. So, what do you think was the reason? Was Hook just proving himself to join an organisation, or did he kill Dead Man for a different reason? either for revenge or because someone paid him to do so. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who donated to Needlemouse Productions' page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds to adapt comic book stories into animated short films. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.